Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more Seuna's Sacrifice. So, we have uh, managed to pick up a brand new sword. We managed to take that from the tree with the help of uh, Dillian, our... I think she's her uh, past husband, but either way. We've uh, we've made it through, and now it's on to... Uh, made it out of that hellish place. Uh, what is it? Like a sea of souls or something? I don't know. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can take down Hella or whoever it is that is uh, getting in the way of what we need to do. Now so let's see. Okay, well the voices have returned. That's not any good. Any rune stones? Okay, so I think we've been here before, but let's pull him up anyway. Memory serves there was a, uh, there was a runestone up here. So we can actually get through this door this time. Okay, that's excellent. Ah, uh, yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's just go straight in through. tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. Hmm. It seems rather final, unfortunately. I don't think we can make it yet. Can't go across the other side. Alright, let's just drop down. Let's just check the other side in case there's something. Nope. Okay. You are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. 
was a little afraid of said, How will you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. Uh, do we run down or do we run through? Let's go down. Okay, well, that was a mistake. Oh, and it looks like the rot has actually gone further back down our arm. I thought it was a little high for the amount of times we died, but alright. Let's, uh, let's stay in the light. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. Okay, well, we don't have lights down there yet, so let's go towards the fire. Don't be fooled. The beast is still here. Me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. It's so full of hate. It's a trap. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. So he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, no they won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? <laughs> Do you see their faces? <gasps> He's coming! Senua! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Okay, well I guess we've got no choice but to explore the darkness. At least we have a flame. Alright, what have we got? Okay, well that's convenient. We can light that back up again. Uh, there we are. Dillion, this is just another trial. Just another trick. I will find 
That's, that's the way we came. Well, let's quickly race back down. Okay, we can't drop down. I guess we've got to make our way back down. Now that was the way we came. What was it? Let's just double check. Let's go where well, we went down the uh, stairs off to the right. So let's go. Oh, sorry. No, we went up the stairs to the right. So let's go down this time. Uh, that should be somewhat different. Not all unsettling is this. Alright. There's the next spot. Let's run. Let's go. Excellent. Come on, let's pick this up. Alright, so instead of going straight up, let's go back through here and start lighting all of these torches again. Go through the archway. Using the reflection. This place. It reminds her of the isolating, 
suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night, the faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see that. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. Alright, so that's the door, but let's quickly just check over here in case there's a rune stone. That's promising. Rain the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death. But Sigurd's mother still has the pieces, and so Rayan reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafnir. Alright, let's see. Alright, so what have we got now? We've got one more. We've gone through both those. Do the up and the down. We check through here. Yeah, we came out over there. Let's go down over here. I think maybe we've missed this spot. Or is this where we went earlier? Uh, hang on a second. Further down. This seems unfamiliar. Well, kind of a giveaway that there was something bad happening in there. At least we made it through. Alright, so I guess that's the way back in. All the way back out. Let's go. Ah, there it is. I don't remember. I was only five. 
They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Alright. Keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Tilly. All right, well, we're gonna make our way back down. Conveniently, there is another torch nearby. That'll help us a bit, I guess. Alright. I feel like there could be a fight. If we get down there quick enough, this may not be good. Well, either way, let's see. Oh yeah, of course, a waterfall. Joy, joy, joy. Now, if we walk over backwards, could we... Yeah. Couldn't put it in the other hand now, could we? Alright. Oh no, we kept it out of the way. Well done. Well done indeed. Alright, what have we got there? Nothing. Place to drop down.
more fight down let's go which way do we need to be you know we need to yeah figure out this rune and of course all right so let's sort that out i think we saw something poking out over this direction so let's uh Oh, okay, so there, now we can go back and we should see it. Okay, that should work out fine. I think that's pretty good. So let's just, uh, yeah. Make our way. There we go. Alright, fantastic. All right, but you know what? I think that's pretty good for today. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cross this door tomorrow and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can reclaim Dillian and uh, not have this entire adventure be for nothing. So if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan signing out. <laughs>